Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and welcome to day seven of the 10 day wire bracelet making challenge. So if you're participating in the challenge, you can see the details below in the description. You can either participate on Facebook or you can participate on Discord. So today we're going to make a couple of styles of braided bracelets. And this video was inspired by a live stream I did a while back and I'd made this funky little braided Bracelet. So what you're going to need for this project are your tools and there's also an option to use beads and if you want to use three different colors of wires as well I have uh, a brown one, a gold and a silver and this is the artistic copper wire so any 20 gauge wire is good. So to make the basic braid I'm going to start with an 18 inch piece of wire and I'm going to find the middle part and then just bend it at a right angle and get my round pliers and this is going to be the loop where we're going to attach it at the back. So we're just going to make a kind of a loop whatever size that you want and then just bend this straight down like that and then you can get another piece of shorter wire it could be about 10 inches and we're going to wind that here. So we're just going to take the wire you can wind it any which way you want as long as it just attaches the top parts a bit. And then we're just going to wind it around a couple of times and we'll give it a little clip. And we'll, with our flat pliers, poke it down there. So now what we're going to need to do is set this up in a way that we can actually braid it. This is going to get pushed up a bit. So I'm going to just do attach a little bit of a wire and then attach it. You can't see but over here I have a chair on my table and I'm just going to attach it to the leg of the chair. So I just made a little hook in the end of the wire that's attached to the chair just to hold it in place. So to braid it we're just going to bring the outside wires in. So we just bring it in like that and in like that. Just like you're braiding hair or if you're braiding wool. Same idea. You could even practice on some hair or on some wool. So basically you can kind of curve it as you go. Bring it in here and just do whatever kind of braid that you like and just basically try to keep the tension about the same because it's hard to get it even but just you know do your best to get them the same space apart and then you're just going to keep going until you have the right amount for the circumference of your wrist. Now I do have a sort of a template, a guide to show you how long you'll have to make it. So here's the guide and I'm going to go with the small size which is about 18 centimeters. So I removed it from the hook and it looks like it's going to be just about 18 centimeters and I'll just remove that because I've left a little bit of room for the hook. And so what you want to do now is you have to get rid of some of these wires. So we're going to go ahead and twist one of these around and clip it and then on this side too we can just take this wire and take it around and clip it and you want to make sure the ends are tucked in because you don't want them to be scratchy so we'll just bring the end in here and then you can get your pill bottle or your if you do have the bracelet template just to wind it around to get the shape right and we can make it more oval after. So basically here you want to make your hook. So let's say we're going to do hook it about there, leave a little extra, bend it over here. We'll just bend it over with our flat pliers and then you want to just twist this end around too. So just to get rid of this end. Sometimes I like to overlap over my previous twists. It just reinforces it and also you know hides some of those little sharp ends. So we're just going to clip that right in there. And then for this we want it to hook in there. So I'm going to put the hook to the outside and what I'll do is first I do like a teeny little jog 
that way and then with my larger round pliers I bring it around this way so that makes a nice little discreet hook and then if you want to kind of form it how you like it's going to go in there and that makes a very beautiful simple classic bracelet that's braided. So for this one I decided to use the artistic wire. It's much softer so I have 20 gauge. I have three different colors and I cut them about 18 inches long and so what I'm going to do is take the first one and just fold it in half, find the halfway point and then make a loop in the end. So this is going to be our starting point. We're just going to wind it around here and then I find the best way to do the loop is rather than twist it around I'm just going to go ahead and bend that straight down like that so we have our starting point and these wires aren't overlapping actually and then we want to get our other wires find the halfway point again and then just wind this around okay but we want to have these colors like in sets of two so we're going to wind it around like that and then we're going to take this one and you know have the halfway point and then we're going to just wind it around here so maybe I'm going to actually put it in between these two so it won't slip all over the place and then wind it around so then we have these pink ones together the gold ones and the brown one in the middle and then we're going to hook it onto our little hook that's on a chair that's on my table and then we want to start our braiding so just go ahead I'm finding this one's a little stiffer than the other one but uh, if you could get the softest wire possible that you have it would be great and then we're just going to go ahead and start our braid for sure the first part of the braid is very tricky but it's just going to take a little while sort of to get the hang of it so then we just go in there keep these little two set, sets of two together and then just bring this on top same thing here just kind of bring it over here try to keep them not too twisted around and then this one too just kind of bring it over here and the first you know few twists are going to be difficult but uh, after that it should get a little bit easier try to keep them as even as possible if they get a little twisted it's not a huge deal and then we're just going to work our way down if you're finding the 20 gauge too thick you could definitely try this also with the 22 gauge that might be a better option because the 20 is quite thick I definitely would not do it with 18 gauge it's going to be way too difficult with the doubled up wire and don't worry if it's not perfectly even it's uh, it's just a, like a learning curve to do this and as you can see mine is not super even but I think once the whole thing's done it's going to be quite nice yeah I'm definitely finding that the gold wire is stiff it's just sometimes the nature of the wire it happens that way that sometimes some wires are stiffer than others uh, sometimes it's the temperature that they're heated at when they're manufactured uh, it just it really really depends so we're just going to keep going with this even if you want to exaggerate it and make the braid like super wonky that's another option too and sort of a cool way to hide our mistakes so now I'm going to unhook it once it's ready to go and then these ends you want to finish them off so we'll just stay consistent and do our loop with those ones so let's go ahead and wind the pink ones around and then clip them so we'll just clip those off and then you can pinch them in place and then that we're going to do the loop with the brown ones so then you can go ahead to and wind the gold ones and clip it and get that stuck in place and then we're just going to wind one of the brown ones around to finish it so get your flat pliers and bend it back here to whatever length that you want 
and you could pinch that in a little bit just pinch it in place a little bit and then we're going to take this end and just wind it around too because you have to finish it off so we'll just bring that one in here and finish it off and then we can go ahead and get our uh, this form you see up here it slipped a little bit um, I should have been a little more careful with that but that can happen too so just when you're starting off try to be careful with that and then this you can you can definitely kind of play around with it to even it up a little bit and now we're going to wind it around our pill bottle here and let's go around and see it's quite pretty I like it and now let's just do this part where we bend our hook down and then get the thicker bigger pliers to uh, bring that around here so that's our little our little clasp and then that'll go in here and there you have a cute tri-colored bracelet so for this one with the beads we're just going to start it off the same way so we're going to go ahead and bring this one over and that one over and the same this one over and that one over and then at that point you can put a bead on there so just choose whatever bead you want you could use tiny seed beads or you can use a, like six millimeter this is the six millimeter miracle bead so we'll stick that one on there and then we'll bring that one over and over and over and then you can decide how many uh, kind of uh, bends you want between each one I'm going to bring this one over and then at that point if you want to put another bead in so just yeah keep track of how many bends that you do so you're consistent and then so say we go one two three four and then just put that one on that one as long as you're keeping track it should be somewhat consistent so we go one two three four and then we'll put another one on there and put the blue one on there and then again one two three four and then we put it on this wire that's in the middle so keep going until it's the length that you want and uh, then we'll finish it off so once you have this at the length that you want you're just going to remove it and we're going to attach the wires at the end here so it's always better to keep the longest one to make your clasp with so we're just going to wind this around and clip this off and then the next one wind it around and then we have the long one to make our hook with and then as before we're going to wind it around the bracelet form or a pill bottle whatever you have that's round bring that around you can make it more oval after so there's our basic kind of shape and then we want to bend this back so just you know imagine you know the end of your hook is going to go to about there so you need a little extra so maybe about an inch we're going to bend that back here and give that a little just a little bend here and then what you need to do is finish this and I like to go over these other wires it just holds them in place a little better it's sort of one of my little hacks just to make sure that the the wires don't come apart and it also makes it easier just to kind of hide that little rough end at the at the end there so we're just going to pinch that here and then to do our hook as before we're going to bend that down kind of that way and then get our bigger round pliers to bring it around okay to do that so there we have our hook you can make it a little tighter if you want you want to bring this down and make the, that little connection a little bit tighter and then basically it's just going to go in here 
and there you have a beautiful braided uh, bracelet with beads and you can just wiggle it around to straighten it up a bit too. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire work, be sure to join the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook. And if the challenge is already over, no problem. You can still hop over to Facebook and join the community. Or you, if you don't have Facebook, you can hop into the Discord community there as well. And also, if you'd like to check out my wire art and jewelry on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. And I also have a mailing list, so I'll link that up below. And if you sign up for the mailing list, I'll send you my free wire art essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching. If you're participating in the challenge, good luck, have fun with it, and we'll see you the next time.